Could a fifth dimension of nature be glimpsed through interactions with dark matter? The answer is yes, because scientists have just announced that they found a portal to the fifth dimension. The peculiarities of our solar system have long piqued the interest of scientists and astronomers, and at the top of their curiosity list is dark matter. Even though scientists have solved a number of mysteries, the nature of dark matter is still an enigma. In their pursuit of knowledge, a group of scientists investigating dark matter has made a startling discovery that promises to alter our understanding of the cosmos forever. A doorway to the fifth dimension. The finding of the gateway and its implications for our planet have not been explained. Stay tuned till the end as we discover how scientists just announced that they found a portal to the fifth dimension. Now, let's jump right into the video. There's still a lot we do not know about the universe. Understanding the existence and makeup of a mysterious substance called dark matter is one of the leading challenges scientists face today. There are many theories about what dark matter could be, but we have yet to understand its true nature. How do we even know that such a thing exists? The greatest challenge for studying dark matter is that we cannot see it. In this video, we will discuss how scientists use science and observations from telescopes to predict the existence of dark matter and why scientists think it pervades every corner of our universe. When we look up at the night sky, we observe that it is filled with thousands of stars, planets in our solar system, stars in our galaxy, and entire galaxies in the distant universe are all examples of such brilliant celestial bodies. All of the matter in the cosmos that emits light can be broken down into these types of things. Through the use of various telescopes, we are able to study the light given out by these extraterrestrial objects. Light from millions of light years away can be detected by some telescopes. The Hubble telescope, a well-known example of a super telescope, can detect objects more than 13.4 billion light years away. Light from these objects is detected by telescopes across the electromagnetic spectrum. From the visible to the X-ray, distance, age, size, and shape are only a few of the factors that scientists use to deduce from the spectrum of measured light about the heavenly bodies in our universe. Some of this data can even help them figure out how the cosmos works. However, there is material out there that does not give off any detectable radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, making it invisible to our telescopes. Due to this peculiar feature, scientists refer to these forms of matter as dark. Astrophysicists in particular spend a lot of effort trying to figure out what dark matter could be. Although dark matter has not been observed to produce electromagnetic radiation, researchers have shown that it responds to the pull of gravity. The actual nature of dark matter is still unknown to astrophysicists. Through comparison with other materials, however, scientists have learned what dark matter is not. About 80% of the mass of galaxies is thought to be dark matter. Thus, the ratio of dark matter to ordinary matter is 4 to 1. Why do scientists think dark matter exists? If it's so hard to detect, there is a large body of data that points to the existence of dark matter. We will examine three of the most important pieces of evidence below. The first form of evidence for the presence of dark matter relates to the effects of dark matter on the motion of astronomical objects. The Sun constitutes essentially all of the mass in our solar system. Mercury and Venus, two of the innermost planets, have the quickest planetary orbits. Planetary velocities slow down as their distance from the Sun increases. Planets further from the Sun experience less of its gravitational influence and hence must move more slowly in order to avoid a potentially catastrophic spiraling motion toward or away from the star. The same sort of comparison holds true for galaxies. If we suppose that the bright region of a galaxy indicates where most of the mass is, then the bulk of the mass should be near the galactic core and the outer less luminous parts of the galaxy should have less mass. As with the planets in our solar system, objects far from the galactic core should travel more slowly than those near the core. Scientists recorded the light emanating from a distant spiral galaxy and plotted the velocities to see if this theory held water. Star speeds is a function of distance from the galactic center. The star's behavior surprised astronomers who had been studying them for decades. They discovered that stars further from the center were traveling significantly faster than expected. More mass in the outer regions of galaxies than we can see is the only explanation for this. 
because it does not give off any visible radiation. This mass must be made up of something scientists call dark matter. There has been evidence of dark matter for some time. Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky was among the first to discover dark matter in 1933. Zwicky analyzed the luminosity distribution of the more than a thousand galaxies in the Coma Cluster. Using a combination of techniques, Zwicky was able to calculate the Coma Cluster's mass. He measured the velocity of the galaxy by observing the variations in their light output, which was one technique. The cluster's total luminosity was used to derive mass in the alternative calculation approach. He observed that the mass estimate from the brightness estimate was much lower than the mass estimate from the galaxy velocity measurement for the coma cluster. If this would be validated, we would receive the surprise result that dark matter is present in much bigger amounts than luminous matter, he stated, referring to the fact that the supplementary matter was not releasing light. The Virgo galaxy cluster quickly followed with a similar finding. However, scientists didn't accept this concept until over 50 years later due to the imprecision of the measuring techniques of the time and the problematic nature of the result. The Bullet Cluster, the name given to two galaxies that recently collided, is the third line of evidence for the presence of dark matter. Gravitational lensing is a method developed by astronomers that allows them to determine the mass of a distant astronomical object like a galaxy. Since the density of space surrounding an item is affected by its mass, gravitational lensing relies on this fact. Light is deflected when it passes through this medium. Let's picture a sheet stretched out flat to illustrate. When no objects are in the area, the sheet symbolizes empty space. Picture a bowling ball being placed on the sheet now. The bowling ball will undoubtedly drag down the sheet, and we know it. The sheet would bend in the same way that space-time bends around massive objects. The light waves are deflected as they travel along the curved surface of an object in space. A greater mass causes a greater bending of light. This hypothesis allows us to calculate the mass of an object in space by measuring the degree to which it bends the light coming from a star directly behind it. Scientists calculated the overall mass of the bullet cluster, dark matter included, using gravitational lensing. In Figure 2, we can see that the bulk of the bullet cluster's mass is not located in the region from which the X-ray emissions are coming. Consequently, dark matter predominates over ordinary stuff in these galaxies. Numerous hypotheses have been put forth by scientists in an effort to explain dark matter. Scientists are split on whether or not dark matter is simply normal matter that is highly concentrated in things that are hard to detect like massive planets or black holes. This theory, however, is highly improbable in light of empirical evidence. Just what, then, does dark matter consist of? Neutrinos are one sort of dark matter particle that has been found by scientists. Like dark matter, neutrinos are invisible particles. However, neutrinos can only account for a small percentage of dark matter due to their low mass and high velocity when they were first formed in the early cosmos. Thus, other particles that have not yet been found must play a role. WIMPs and axions are two of the more intriguing possibilities. Despite the fact that many experiments are looking for both types, no evidence of either has been seen as of yet. The latest research suggests that dark matter can be explained by a particle that communicates with the fifth dimension. The Warped Extra Dimension, or WED, is a trademark of the popular physics model that was introduced for the first time in 1999. The idea has never before been applied to the age-old dark matter conundrum in particle physics until now, when it was published in the European Physical Journal C. The authors of this work found that their hypothesized particle would have to act as a mediator of a new force between the known elementary particles, what we can see, and the unexplained dark matter. The dark sector. Their idea even accounts for the seemingly high amounts of dark matter that have been detected in astrophysical tests. This provides intriguing new opportunities to investigate the mechanics of the early cosmos when dark matter was formed, and to seek out its constituents, quite literally by taking a detour via the extra dimension. The properties of the new interaction between ordinary matter and dark matter, which is mediated by our proposed particle, can be calculated accurately within our theory, and so the researchers, led by Matthias Newbert, 
are confident that the mechanism they have discovered would make the dark matter accessible to future experiments. We hope that the new particle will be found first in the process of interacting with the dark region. This exemplifies beautifully the beneficial interaction between experimental and theoretical basic research. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about dark matter and the possibility of a fifth dimension? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one.